Hello everyone, I'm Corporal Ortiz with the Pasco County Sheriff's Office and this is my K9 Ford Explorer. And I'll show you some of the features and some of the things it's got on it and we'll take a little tour. Okay, so this is my Ford Explorer Interceptor. Uh, it's much like the other um, vehicles we have for the Sheriff's Office. The difference is here, obviously I'm K9 so I have to have the stickers on there. Um, and then also we gotta, we gotta know who's on board. Um, so this vehicle, uh, one of the features, we went to slick tops. That means no light bars on top uh, for a few reasons. One, aerodynamics and uh, saving on gas. Think about all the patrol cars that have these on top. Also, we went to LED lights, so we no longer need the big, big bulbs that we used to have back in the day. So all the LED lights are concealed inside the car. I got some here, I got some here. And of course, we have the front ones all over here, here, and a ton of them in the grill as well. Uh, we also have right here in the visors, our main ones for up front. And of course, we have the spotlight up front there. Okay, everyone, this is my office. This is where I spend the majority of my time. We got my laptop up here on this mount. Um, starting from the top here, these uh, metal boxes is where my uh, emergency lights are now. They're no longer on the roof, they're in here. Um, going on this way, we have my GPS, of course. Uh, we also have our cool guard. So what that does is if you have a canine car, you have one of these in there, and it gives the temperature in the car in two different spots, just to make sure. And if it goes below a certain degrees that I have it set at, it'll honk the horn, flash the lights, let me know, hey, it's getting too hot in here for the dog. Um, I also have a pager that I wear. So if it gets too hot, the pager will go off, the horn will go off. And then for some reason, if I don't come and fix the situation, the back windows will roll down on their own. The fan will kick on on its own to keep the dog cool so he doesn't suffer from any kind of heat stroke or anything like that. And then if for some reason I still don't answer all these alarms, the door will actually pop open by itself to let the dog out so he doesn't get hurt you know, from the heat stroke. Um, also, from here, we got the control panel for the lights and the, the sirens and the, and the horns and all that that I have. We have the radio here to talk to dispatch. We have the PA system, and then this is kind of neat too. This is the ambush system right here. What this does is say I'm typing a report late at night and I'm not paying attention to my surroundings and I'm just concentrating on this computer. I'll turn that on and if someone walks up or a car drives up and I don't see it, these lights will go off and let me know what direction someone's coming from. And they'll also have the outside white lights that will come on in that direction to kind of illuminate where someone's walking up from. So it's an ambush sensor, it's kind of neat. It's Ken Mango's office here. And first, I'll show you, this has a hinge on it that pushes the door open. It's um, part of the canine package that came with this car. And what it does is basically, if I'm not by the car and I need to pop it, I could hit a button and this door would, would come open by itself. Um, it's mainly used for patrol dogs. If uh, the canine handler's out of the car and he needs his dog, uh, doesn't have time to go back and get him, he hits the button, dog jumps out. Uh, Kenny Mango here has his uh, mattress back there because uh, sometimes he does spend a lot of time back there in between deployments. Uh, he has his own water bowl and uh, he likes it at 68 degrees Fahrenheit is what he told me. Right, this is the other side of Mango's office and I'll show you a cool feature here. This uh, is the fan where if the temperature gets too hot, the window will go down and that fan will kick on and extract all the heat out of the car for him. That way ensuring he doesn't get hurt you know from heat stroke and all that so another feature related to the lights that we have is what's called takedown lights if you hit a button on the console there it, it's marked takedown and what happens is most of the lights will turn bright white and that's if you're doing a traffic stop at night and what it does for you is it kind of creates that wall of light that gives the deputy the advantage of what's going on in front of them okay a quick look at the back um, We've been going to, uh, from sedans to SUVs for obvious reasons. We need to carry a lot more gear these days. Um, and obviously it's particular to what you do in your specific job for the sheriff's office. Here I have all kinds of canine mango, extra tennis balls, treats, stuff like that, stuff related to canine mango. Um, and of course, community engagement. We're, um, this is extra full in here because we're prepping for the hurricane. I got some uh, stuffed dogs to give out. and. Um, bunch of literature that I hand out as well for the Sheriff's Office. All right, everyone, this concludes the tour of my patrol vehicle, my K9 Explorer. Mango, you did a great job, buddy. Up top. Go.
Oh boy. Thanks for watching.